Hello everyone, my name is Vin. My name is Nitish. In this video, we are doing a CGM food experiment. Lunch edition. We'll be having two different kinds of meals and using our CGM, we'll measure our blood glucose level after each meal. We'll see how different food affects our blood glucose levels. We've already got our CGMs installed and our meals ready. So let's get started. So we have finished our biryanis now. So we'll check our CGM readings in two hours. Two hours later. So it's been more than two hours that we've had our lunch. So let's get our CGM insights tested. So we will open the sugar kit app and we'll get it press scan. the scan button. And yes. The scan is done. So my baseline before I started my lunch was around 90. Uh, then within half an hour of having my biryani, uh, it went up from 90 to 123. In next half an hour, it went up from 123 to 145. And then gradually after that, it, it, it remained there for a while, for another 15 minutes. And then it slowly, slowly, slowly after one hour came down to 122. Uh, interestingly, as I see, it has went up really quick from 90 to 145 within a span of 40 minutes. So a total increase of around 55 in just, 50, in just 45 minutes. So my baseline was around 87 in the beginning. So after my biryani, it has spiked up to 110 in the first half an hour. After that, I had a very, very big spike of 147. So after that, in the next half hour, it came down to 120 and now it is stabilized at around 115. So this is my CGM readings after two hours of the biryani. So why is it I'm getting so much spike and better than yours? So maybe I had some walking after my biryani. So yeah. that would have given increased my metabolic rate yeah. and my spikes might have been reduced. But you walked after, I think I believe after 30-35 minutes. So yeah. the initial spike that I see for myself, it's a, it's a, a straight line like this and yours is a little milder. Maybe I'm a little younger than you went. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think it also like, it also depends on the every metabolism, metabolism changes. Yeah. Every body has, yeah. So that's it, guys, of today's CGM readings. So we'll see you tomorrow in the next show. Twenty four hours later. So in today's video, we are going to follow meal sequencing, which means that we will be consuming fiber-rich foods before lunch. So we are having a salad ten minutes before our meal. That is same as yesterday, a chicken biryani. So let's get munching. Yes. 10 minutes later. So we are finished with our lunch. So we'll see you next two hours to check our CJ insights. Bye. Two. two hours later. So it's been two hours since we had our biryani. So let's get our CJ insights checked now. And we'll compare it with yesterday's readings. So we'll open our sugar fit app. Okay. And have it scan. Yeah. My baseline before starting was 88 today. And then after finishing my biryani, for the first 30 minutes, it went from 88 to 105. In the next 30 minutes, it went again up to 128 and then remained at that level for a while. And then gradually started coming down. And after 90 minutes of having biryani, it was at 116. Then after two hours of having the biryani, it is now at 100. So as compared to yesterday, if I may say, I think uh, there is a there is a significant drop in the spike because yesterday the spike was around 55 and today the spike is around 40. I think the salad has done the magic. So let's see how biryani is worked on me now. So my baseline after the salad was around 85 and after a half an hour of gap it has spiked up to 103. And in the next half an hour it went to a peak of 132. So 132 is my highest peak after my biryani today and it has reduced to 115 in the next half an hour and then and after a part of two hours now it is stabilized at 95. I think my SLS spike overall was around 60 but today it is around 45 to 47. So I think yours and mine is almost similar. Yeah, uh, I think the salad has made yeah. some wonders today. Man. Yeah, the spike yesterday was almost similar but uh, today also I, I think because of the salad uh, the spike levels have not went that much up as yesterday. So this is how meal sequencing works. So we had our fiber rich salads before our carb rich biryani. Now due to this, our blood glucose levels uh, have not spiked that much and it have remained moderate as compared to yesterday. So having fiber rich vegetables and grains before our high carb biryani will reduce the blood glucose rush. Lesson of the day, sequence your meals right. <laughs> <laughs>